Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a custom image for your background on your Xbox Series X. And there's two different ways that we can do this. Now, the first way that we can do is with the Microsoft Edge browser. So let's go to My Games and Apps, and then go to See All, and then go to Apps right here, and then go to the Microsoft Edge browser right here. Now, we want to type in the URL, and we want to go to Bing.com, which is the default search engine. So let's just go up to the top and then we can just type in bing.com or if we just type something in, it'll automatically go to Bing. So let's type in Halo, uh, Halo 5 or something like that or Halo Infinite. So let's go to Halo 5 actually, then press the button with the three lines on it and it'll start searching. So now we're under Bing, let's go to images. And then here is all the images for Halo 5. Let's scroll on down. And then we can choose an image. So let's choose this image right here. It's 1920 by 1080p, which will be large enough. Then we can press the button with the three lines on it. And then we can go to set as background right here. So we don't have to save it. We can just set it as a background. So now let's go to the home screen on our Xbox. And here is the image as my background. So it's very easy to just use the Microsoft Edge browser to get any kind of image. Now, the second way is with a USB device. So if we have one plugged into our Xbox, we'll have to transfer over a photo from our PC or something like that, or maybe in our phone. And then we want to go to general, then go to personalization, scroll on down to my background, then go to custom image. Then under here, we want to go to our USB device. So we can scroll on down, select this, and then here is my custom image on my USB device. And we have to use our USB device as media. So when you plug it in, you're going to get a prompt. Go to use media, and then you can choose this. So let's choose this option. And it says try a smaller image. So the image I have must be too small. It does have to be under 5 megabytes right there. So I won't be able to use that image. So you do have that option, or you can just go to Bing. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.